listening to this report thank you so much i would i think now the wait is over and i would uh, like to take this privilege of introducing our special guest of today so dr pavan kumar singh so dr pavan kumar singh is at uh, is at present working as director of uh, management development institute gurgaon previously he has worked as director in charge of indian institute of management indore and chair academic committee of indian institute of management sambalpur as nodal officer of iim sambalpur he played a sheet anchor role in establishing the new institute in its initial phase dr singh has been in academics uh, at post graduate level for more than 3 decades he has worked as professor of organizational behavior and human resource management at iim indore before that he worked with national institute of industrial engineering mumbai Indira Gandhi National Open University New Delhi Kanpur University and Vikram University at Ujjain He started his career at Bank of India as industrial relations officer Dr Singh has a long experience in teaching training research consultancy and academic admiration administration He has published research articles in national and international journals and has presented papers in various conferences not only in india but as well as abroad he has written two books in the field of management he has trained more than 15000 executives of all levels from almost <clears throat> all walks of profession he has provided consultancy to public and private sector organizations he has been on the editorial board of various reputed journals and has also been member of various high profile committees of government bodies and academic institutions his discussions have been broadcasted on television and radios since dr singh has been always invited speaker on many occasions dr singh is phd in management and post graduate in personal management as well as economics he has attended certificate program in research at london school of economics and political science and cleared ugc jrf in the very year of introduction top management team of denik bhaskar elected him as the best trainer at iim indore in 2007 and pimr gwalior conferred upon him management excellence award in december 2019 his hobbies include music poetry cricket astronomy and reading scripture sir we are truly honored and feel privileged to have such an esteemed guest with us today now without making participants to wait much i request you to please share your knowledge on us and please bless us with your wealth of knowledge and experience please sir dr nidhi ji thank you very much thank you sir and uh, of course i had supplied you my own resume and you read it out so i managed you to paint a good picture about me <laughs> but you see uh, whenever i listen my own introduction uh, even if the material is supplied by me i always take that as a, a charter of demand uh, given to me uh, with a challenge that hey there is a description and uh, have guts to appear like this like this person who is being painted through the resume <laughs> so thank you very much nidhi ji uh, i'm very happy to be with you all i would like to start with a prayer because prayer is every time needed prayer is needed in difficult time but prayer is more needed in pleasant time because that is the real test that god knows that even when you you are in pleasant mood you pray and that prayer has more uh, perhaps uh, value in the eyes of god so i would like to chant ओम सहना भवतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर्यम करवा वहै तेजस्वी नावधीतमस्तु मा विद्विषा वहै ओम शांते 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 दिस प्रार्थना मंत्र ऑफ 23 उपनिषद्स इट्स मीनिंग इज मोर एप्ट नाउ डेज इन दिस मोर चैलेंजिंग एंड डिफिकल्ट टाइम एंड दिस मंत्र सेज ओम स्टार्ट्स विद ओम एंड ओम मींस whenever we pronounce om it means we are making an application to the existence and saying to the existence 
that hey oh my existence i want to be more rhythmic with you i want to be we all want to be more rhythmic with you and once you find the rhythm in life rhythm with existence the life becomes becomes more musical that's why sometimes we uh, we we uh, feel uh, surprised that how a particular person works for longer hours that to working for others still does not get tired the person is indefatigable why such phenomenon happens because if we work for others with parokar bhav and being rhythmic and and being in tune with the existence then you do not get tired you become tireless you become indefatigable so any young persons who are listening to me and everybody is but is young person who is listening to me from the age range of 20 to 80 maybe all young people i would like to say that once we have set a musical tone with the existence we do not become tired so easily when i was a very shy boy during my school days and still today also basically i am a shy person uh, but in those days i had a stage fright also so in those days i used i i came to know that uh, uh, one has to go and face audience to become more bold but one of my teachers those days said that once you feel that those who are listening to you they are your your own people you can stand accurately before the audience and in class 8 1973 on the day of tulsi jayanti just uh, the day was two days before we had jayanti tulsi jayanti that is shravan shukla saptami i was met to stand before audience and he said just feel audience is yours and you will feel confidence i still remember with my shivering legs i had spoken one um, memorized kavita of 30 72 lines 36 couplets and uh, then i got some confidence so be in rhythm om means i am trying to be in rhythm with the existence so this is the beginning of this prayer om sahana bhavatu sahana bhunaktu sah viryam karva bhai let we all come together let we all put our efforts together after putting the efforts let we all enjoy the fruits of the actions together tejasvi navadhi tamas tuma vidvisha bhai let we all gain illumination together let we all make a journey from darkness to light together let there be no ill feeling amongst we all and let we all be happy and joyful at three levels om shanti 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 let peace prevail let happiness prevail let joy prevail let bliss prevail let wisdom prevail at three levels at body level at mind level and at spirit level so this is the basic meaning of this prayer and i i pray that everyone in this world be uh, be diseaseless be be healthy uh, be be happy and i would like to appeal to all my sisters and brothers listening to me that at least maintain three things today and tomorrow is ours and that those three things are number one let us all be healthy at physical and mental level second let we all remain cheerful and third let we all remain creative good health cheerfulness and creativity these three basic humble offering i would like to remind to all of us let we all be subjected to these three and we shall be able to enjoy this phase and future in the life vice president of prestige education society and chairman of prestige group of industries dr davish jain sahab do today we could not meet him till now uh, but i would like to say one thing when last time we met in gwalior one foreign participant said to me while taking dinner that you see the the owner and promoter of the institute i have not seen taking so much interest in academics and actually rubbing shoulder with the delegates of the conference and this shows the kind of dedication of uh, dr davish jain uh, i am not a person who can even um, praise dr davish jain but what i just heard from one participant in gwalior i just conveyed to you and that shows uh, his 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 uh, way of uh, approaching the things and uh, i know uh, dr jain sahab for uh, more than two decades and i have 
a lot of admiration for him. CEO of Prestige University and Prestige Education Society, Dr. Anil Bajpai Sahab. Once I met him, as he also remembered me, and I, I, I really liked it. In December 2019, we met in Gwalior. We had some wonderful time and sharing of wisdom. And uh, Dr. Bajpai Sahab is a, a man of uh, a very hum humble approach, but very, very uh, deep in relation towards doing anything. So my respect to him. Director of PIMR Indore, Dr. Yogeshwari Bhattakji, and uh, we are known to each other for more than two decades. And uh, she's one of the faces of management education in a uh, certain part of India, in Indore. And uh, I have close uh, interaction with her for so many years, and I have cherished those moments. Head and depart head of marketing and coordinator of Gyanubhav, Dr. Ajit Upadhyayji. Ajit Upadhyay ji um, is the person who brought me here in, the, in your valedictory session. And why I am remembering him again here, that if you get something gainful during this uh, discussion, uh, please uh, uh, say me thank you. But if you do not get anything in this session, now you know the person whom to blame. And that person is Dr. Ajit Upadhyay ji, who brought me here today in valedictory session. Uh, let me tell you that I was listening to uh, a presentation by uh, Professor Pratna Ji, and uh, I found that uh, uh, out of those uh, speakers and uh, galaxies of speakers you arranged, I congratulate the entire team of Gyan Bhav. Very, very um, apt speakers you have chosen, and you have maintained the level of uh, this uh, uh, conference or workshop, you can say, for 21 days, and that is wonderful. And out of those 20, uh, 20 22 speakers, uh, I found that uh, two are my colleagues, one present colleague and one colleague, and of course I am in Dor. One was my student and two persons I'm closely connected with. So I, I really uh, enjoyed the battery of speakers, series of speakers that you've described. And I'm very thankful to uh, Dr. Ajit Ji for inviting me today. Professor Pratna Ji, I just heard you for the first time, very nice presentation. And uh, I, I learned that uh, how, how much the audience might have gained who actually listened for continuously 20, 21 days here. So thank you, Dr. Pratna Ji. And your Pratna is bearing fruit today. Dr. Nidhi Sharma Ji, thank you very much for introducing and for, for um, uh, playing the role of uh, sheet anchor for this program. The entire team of Gyanubhav, because a big team worked in this uh, field. So uh, my, my uh, best wishes to all of them. All respected faculty of all sister institutions of prestige education society, including some places I know closely connected, two campuses of Indore I have visited, Devas I have visited, Gwalior I have visited. And um, I told Professor Bhakar in uh, Gwalior recently, means last December, that you have uh, declared me as old person now, because now you're giving me some award called Management Excellence Award. Uh, so no more you're treating me as young person. He said, no, no, you are young, but we want to offer you this, uh, let us say, citation. Fine. So my, my, my respect to all, all faculty members working in all centers of prestige education society, all dear students, all dear participants, and ladies and gentlemen, I have many friends in Prestige Institute of Management, um, Campus 1 and Campus 2, whatever you may say. Um, I know closely uh, Dr. Sharma there, uh, Dr. Jangiwala, then uh, Dr. Uh, Agrawal, uh, and uh, Dr. Ranjana Patel. Uh, so for more than two decades, we are interacting with each other. So I'm just uh, speaking something in my home and let us enjoy some discussion. You see, I was given the choice by Dr. Ajit, you choose your title. <laughs> so much of autonomy you are giving to a speaker. Fine. So I chose the title, New Time, A Call to Wisdom. First of all, I would like to call it a new time, but not a bad time. It may be called new time. It may be called change time. It may be called difficult time. It may be called challenging time. But certainly, I would not like to pronounce it as bad time 
because bad means i am complaining to god because i am not responsible for this corona myself i could not do my contribution is nil in bringing it and i am trying to push it out but it is not getting pushed out i have to just receive it so i'll just say whatever on which i have don't don't have any control that is beyond any adjective of good or bad the situation is given and i would like to say it as a different time only so it may be called as new time and a call to wisdom this is the title we chose a call to wisdom because we have been talking about uh, about information we have been talking about uh, knowledge uh, we also talk about wisdom but proportionately we less talk about wisdom and that's why uh, uh, we are talking on wisdom today of course talking on wisdom does not work but without talking on wisdom also it does not work so there is no choice we sometime remind ourselves that what is wisdom and what is the quintessential aspect of knowledge the makkhan the butter the, the quintessential aspect of information is knowledge and quintessential aspect of knowledge is wisdom wisdom ko sanskrit mein kaha gaya hai vivek vivek and vivek means basically it is it is beyond intelligence i will say intelligence is different thing even it is beyond uh, let us say simply a, uh, a term called maturity vivek basically uh, uh, this 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 wisdom wisdom is the quality of the self and it is not typically a particular added characteristics it is a complete description of the self and i would like to go a bit deeper into it today that what are certain factors of wisdom how we can understand who is wise who is unwise but first of all all i would like to say that corona has not come empty handed it has come to us as a teacher and is it is teaching us and we should receive the learning with appropriate sensitivity and another terminology we listen in corona is quarantine <laughs> i and i had also got quarantine for some day it was just by chance 10th march was holy 9th march was holy ka dahan in the morning of 9th march i had returned after 10 or 12 days from berlin and suddenly i was uh, i was uh, subjected to the government rule that whoever has come from foreign country will go to quarantine but anyway my office and my home are only 70 meters apart in this campus so i work from home but i was quarantined and i would like to say what is the meaning of quarantine quarantine basically is going into isolation and i'll give you some example of golden isolation number 1 now varsha kal is going on rainy season is going on the story comes from ramcharit manas and the story goes like this that hanuman ji met ram and lakshman they were wandering in the jungle and hanuman went to ram and lakshman and they got acquainted and hanuman offered his services as das to ram and lakshman and hanuman takes ram and lakshman to sugriv and sugriv and ram they tie hands as great friends anyway i will not go into deeper story i will i'm just going to quarantine word then after friendship was established between ram ji and sugriv then sugriv bali was killed by ram sugriv was given the kingdom and then sugriv was supposed to help ram by having a sena a total army of kiskindha sugriv was expected to organize it and to take it to lanka but for some time during rainy season ram and lakshman had spent three or four months in kiskindha and that is called chatur mas suniyega chatur mas is still today a prevalent practice and especially the central india and place like indore which is highly religious place is spiritually inclined and chatur mas is observed by many great saints in and around indore and that pratha that system of chatur mas was there what was chatur mas chatur mas concept was that when season is not very very conducive and friendly one should is 
stay at a place talking less speaking less chanting um, of course of course uh, uh, becoming extrovert less and diving deeper into your own self for three or four months only meeting with those who are interested in understanding the spiritual dimension this was chaturmas a quarantine system was already embedded in the indian culture and system and philosophy see the importance so quarantine was there second example of quarantine i'll give you everyone goes to visit uh, bodhgaya and bodhgaya is a place where a tree is there and now a big temple is there and gautam buddha got enlightened but i would like to say one thing to especially young friends who are listening to me don't only visit those places which paint success story of some achievers go also to those places which actually describes the struggling phase of those achievers that will give you a joy joy of learning so i went to bodhgaya then i thought that bodhgaya is the place of climax of buddhahood but what are those places where buddha struggled then i went 14 kilometers towards north east means towards rajgir because gautam buddha while walking from rajgir had come to bodhgaya and there he got enlightened so i started walking going in the reverse direction and after 14 kilometers i found a place called dhungeshwari cave at dhungeshwari cave gautam buddha had spent around 4 years and during penance during tapa he was converted as a skeleton and in between that uh, dhungeshwari cave and uh, this uh, bodhgaya there is a place called sujata garh where sujata had offered khee to gautam buddha and that is a legendary story everybody may be knowing that sujata gave khee and said to uh, uh, gautam buddha the buddha or siddharth who had converted as a skeleton body and this was sujata who had told gautam buddha or would be gautam buddha that hey don't go to extreme neither sleep too much nor go sleepless neither eat too much nor go foodless don't do any extreme and be established in the middle it was a lady from a village sujata who actually taught this lesson to gautam buddha gautam buddha taught this lesson as madhyam nikay to the whole world and we think madhyam nikay is the lesson given by gautam buddha that's fine but actually gautam buddha learned it from a village girl called sujata who said jyada ati pe mat jaiye remain balanced halaki kuch log hum log some of us we are champion misunderstanding anything so we thought madhyam nikay is averaging out it is 6 plus 4 by 2 is equal to 5 it is not like that madhyam nikay is not finding arithmetical mean madhyam nikay means transcending from both extremes and getting established at another dimension and renouncing the lower dimension this is called madhyam nikay madhyam nikay means basically saying goodbye to both the extremes and going to the next level or higher level or higher dimension it is not simply operating at the same level and finding arithmetical mean this we should understand so when i went to dhungeshwari cave for four years gautam buddha had quarantined himself and i think that those four years actually were the years of making years of years of uh, let us say penance which converted siddharth to gautam buddha that was also a phase of quarantine third example of quarantine i'll bring to you you see quarantine has value why i am bringing all these things because we have to understand how to live in these days we cannot live by simply complaining that i am not able to meet my friends i am not able to go outside i am not able to go to chaat pakoda i am not able to go to chappan dukan fine when time will come you should go but enjoy whatever condition you are compelled to live in now third one is mahavir swami 24th tirthankar of jainism and uh, he very very humbly one day proposed in his home that i want to renounce and there was a position 
in which family there will be a green signal that any child says i will renounce the world my sanyas lena chahta hu and allow me to go so he was not allowed to go and you see mahavir did not react at all he simply lived in hope doing his usual work again after some time he offered his wish i want to renounce again there was denial from home side again he started living in the home but this time he almost quarantined he was living but his presence was not being felt in the home it was appearing that though he is here but still he is not here somewhere he has gone only his physical body is here and then family members decided there is no reason now to stop him and we should say do as you wish so by this very very clear, i will say positive and positive way and a creative quarantine then only people could could understand the real real self of mahavi at that point of time and then mahavi actually left for the forest and one last example of quarantine i'll bring this i'll bring from from my experience of visiting haridwar when i went to haridwar and nowadays i have developed a hobby of visiting to lesser frequented places lesser known places because they are at least free of crowd and if great stories are connected to that place you can enjoy at least vicariously so one place in haridwar is there many people do not go there and it is on a on on a, on a semi hill top you can say and there it is said that parvati ji had done tapasya for many many thousands of years purana say shiv purana if you read and there the name of uh, parvati had become um, aparna parna means leaves because while doing penance she started taking only leaves sirf patte khati thi and one day she left leaves also she given up taking leaves also as food so food ko bhi mane she even shunned leaves and that's why her name became aparna aparna is a wonderful name and during those penances she had quarantined herself dekhiye i am not in simply praying that or praising that you should run away from people it is not needed but if there is need that if you are away from each other wishing well for each other saving yourself from others saving others from yourself there cannot be any class face to face now there is order that up to 31st august there cannot be any class face to face about 3 months back i had guessed that there there cannot be face to face class up to birthday of mahatma gandhi ji but about 30 days back 45 days back i had i have a guess now that up to 31st december there may not be possible for face to face classes if it is not there don't keep complaining enjoy this state of being and as you know there is difference between two words aloneness and loneliness blessed are those who enjoy aloneness and deprived are those who suffer loneliness i would like to give first description of wise person here i am not a person who is capable of defining anything but i can describe to some extent first description of wise person is that if wise person is surrounded by friends he or she enjoys but if by chance on some evening on some morning or continuously continuously 100 evenings continuously 100 mornings not with friends not with anybody and is confined into alone um, into alone situation is still would be able to enjoy aloneness mai hindi mein kehna chahunga mehfil mein hai to anandit akele hai akele ka anand anand and one of the researchers told me through his research and even knowing the finding many times in behavioral science you know the finding but you have to establish it through data that a person who does not speak when his or her speaking is not needed then this person if he speaks when he or she needs to be needs to speak then the person could become more effective a person i will repeat a person who does not speak when speaking is not needed 
becomes more effective when speaking is needed and if he or she speaks becomes more effective so by nurturing yourself inside you become flourishing outside that is the point i am making when we nurture inside ourselves then when we express ourselves outside we become more pleasant more profound more fragrant more productive more meaningful and hum bad bad karte rahe every time is speaking if i speak when speaking is not needed i will not be effective when speaking is needed and i speak so that point i'm trying to make so enjoy aloneness and actually this has come as a, as a gift i'll say you uh, that's point number 1 my description on quarantine and enjoy aloneness see some other wisdom sparks we are getting from this present situation now you are listening to me and all are on mute all are on mute and if two or three of you decide not to be on mute that will create disturbances and you will be reminded by others in audience or humbly i may remind you that please mute yourself and this is a great learning i started teaching in mba classes 31 years back and in those days my uh, hod said said you please also take the courses on communication skills there i started teaching that subject listening was one topic and listening first lesson was that that when you want to listen you please don't talk <laughs> but in ordinary time people kept on saying me that when somebody is talking please keep your mouth shut mute yourself i was not listening but corona came and has taught us beautifully that when somebody is speaking please keep yourself on mute <laughs> so first lesson of listening actually corona kal has gifted us in a beautiful way second one that learning or lessons we are getting is <clears throat> you see when corona did not strike was it a normal time fine we are saying it as a new normal <laughs> sub normal somebody saying you have normal somebody saying bad time when corona had not struck remember in india condition like whatever may be on 1st of february when corona was being listened here and there in wuhan but it had not come in india where we living with awareness was the condition very very normal were we not chanting abbreviations like vuka world vuka world vuka world v for volatility u for uncertainty c for complexity a for ambiguity is still vuka was going on and vuka vuka was being chanted for at least one decade many national international conferences were conducted on vuka world even before corona we had volatility complexity ambiguity so now we are saying that we have we have come into a different and disturbed phase of course phase is difficult we have to come out of it but before that were you living with awareness were we not living as somnambulist as unaware person as a sleep walker we were and corona is saying that be aware take care whether you are using mask at appropriate place at appropriate time or not whether you are maintaining distance whether you are walking in the right direction when there is no need to walk don't walk i have talked to many sadhus if you see many sadhus and when i was for 6 years in ujjain my 30% of energy and time used to go after sadhus and many of them told me that in their ashram they hardly go even up to the entry gate they remain confined to the campus and they remain confined to their puja prarthana dhyan and hardly they go even to the inner part of their outer gate forget forget about going out of the gate so much they were they are capable of practicing silence or practicing awareness so this is a time where we should emphasize on how to live with awareness and third lesson that through corona we are getting first was listening second was living with awareness and third is 
appreciating change appreciating change change has come this change is forcing academic institutions to change the gear and take a different route we are talking about the right blending of face to face and online teaching people in marketing sales supply chain they are all changing their strategies it as enabler is coming as a rescuer for actually strategizing in different fields of management hr itself is becoming uh, more and more based on it based so change is there and we have to accept this change we can't keep complaining and i think those persons who are just waiting that normal times means previous time and once it will come i will keep, i will start behaving like i behaved in earlier days i think then we are not changing for self development fine even if normal will come we, we should respond to the situation with more wisdom because we need to change as per the demand of time simple example you may be knowing we belong to a species which is called homo sapiens sapien and our cousin uh, genes was called homo neanderthal so we are called homo sapiens sapien we are called homo sapien and our cousin creature was neanderthal homo neanderthal now neanderthals were more robust more physically stronger the brain size was bigger bigger brain size means more developed and physically also they were more stronger but what happened when the ecological balance changed or environmental temperature changed and the species were struggling to survive many species came came and vanished still today it is said that almost 15 species per day in the world are subjected to extinct and see the surprise homo neanderthal could not survive and relatively weaker homo sapien of which we are descendants we survived simply because we responded to change and homo neanderthal actually reacted with change did not respond to change and was subjected to extinct that's why if we do not change our behavior we do not change our understanding we do not change our 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 learnings then we will not be able to respond even those months or years which are waiting for us and after some months when corona would not be would not be there if we go back to square one with the same behavior i think we have missed the opportunity to generate wisdom through this changed environment these three points i met that these three are direct learning from corona we have become good listener we have become more aware and we are perhaps becoming more sensitive to change and we are responding to change and if we are only reacting to change it is against wisdom and that will not lead us to any kind of benefit <laughs> you see few interesting points i would like to bring here there are many models on personality can i take 5 or 7 minutes more before we go to q and a yes sir sure sir i, sure. I found in schedule that q and a should end by 4:20 so i should have stopped by now but can i take 5 minutes sure sir we are enjoying your session sir all right i'll bring a very very simple but interesting point here our colleagues in management teach many models of personality of course we don't get much time to teach in management programs but those who do ms psychology they study 10 15 sessions 20 sessions on personality itself we give about two or three sessions on personality and one very popular model of personality is mbti test meyer briggs type of indicator and meyer briggs type of indicator basically meyer is the surname of the mother and the daughter who married a boy with surname briggs became breaks so the mother and daughter combinedly gave this model and very few piece of knowledge we find which is given by a combination of mother and daughter but mbti is mother daughter combination now why i am bringing mbti we all know in mbti 
there are four pairs of personality extrovert vis a vis introvert that is first pair means two types extrovert vis a vis introvert second is sensing vis a vis intuitive third is thinking vis a vis feeling type and fourth is fourth is uh, judging vis a vis perceiving so eight types of personality arranged in four pairs why i am bringing this in a discussion on wisdom especially in new time there's reason when we compare extrovert introvert and when we compare sensing intuitive thinking feeling judging perceiving and there is a question i have to that we find if your score on introvert is more than extrovert you are basically introvert like that but there is a very interesting phenomenon there if you take a when paper pencil test of mbti test and your score on extrovert and introvert has a tie the rule of tie breaker is that if there is a tie between extrovert introvert you are basically introvert if there is tie between sensing and intuitive score you are basically intuitive if there is tie between thinking and feeling you are basically feeling oriented person and if there is a tie between judging and perceiving you are basically perceiving type of person i read this in book in journals fine but nowhere i could get answer why in the case of tie the benefit is given to one side of the personality this i got an indirect reply by getting exposure to some other kind of data and this is the interesting part of my discussion of mbti i am sharing with you which generally we don't say to students based on various sociological surveys in this world extrovert persons are much more compared to introvert persons sensing persons are much more compared to intuitive persons thinking persons are much more compared to feeling persons and judging persons are much more in number on this earth compared to perceiving persons then i could relate from my own understanding that those who are lesser in number if there is time they will be given benefit that the person belongs to that group who are lesser in number but is still the score in the pairing is tied with those kind of persons who are more in number a very interesting thing appeared though i did not um, uh, find any material discussed like that but what happens as a teacher or as a student when you read lines you enjoy but super joy comes when you start reading between the lines now here i would like to make a point actually i would like to extrapolate based on this discussion that in this corona kal we need to shift a bit from our extrovert personality to introvert personality means i'm not saying do it forcibly but just also start testing the other side of the personality range shift a bit from extrovert to introvert take some more time on manan and nidhyasan on pondering over on chanting on reflecting on auto suggesting on meditating we need to move from introvertness to uh, sorry extrovertness to introvertness a bit because because time is permitting us to explore the other side of personality number 1 number 2 we need to shift a bit from our sensing orientation to intuitive orientation similarly we need to shift a bit from thinking orientation to feeling orientation thinking to feeling orientation i congratulate again the team gyanubhav but i found on the banner of gyanubhav it is saying connecting management brains wonderful line i congratulate you but just a brotherly feeling i'm sharing with you that it is you have not done simply connecting management brains you have done more than that 
why don't you claim that actually you have connected management brains and you have connected management hearts heart ko connect karne ki baat hum kar to dete hain matlab kaam to kar dete hain bolte nahi thoda boliye bhi thode dil ke maslon ki baat kahiye every time engaged in head talk head is talking head 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 to head sometimes there should be heart to heart talk every time we are getting engaged into head to head talk we should find time for heart to heart talk that's why when i take fdp i say to my fellow brothers and sisters who are the themselves academicians that if you are hod don't call yourself only head of department you are also heart of department and if you are not heart of department only head of department then whatever problems we are facing i may be also contributing to those problems so hod need to be also heart of department so shift a bit from thinking orientation to feeling orientation from brain to heart and then we will find that we have developed an integrated personality and shift from judging type of orientation to perceiving type of orientation what is the difference judging orientation is always attaching an adjective good or bad is splendid or unattractive fragrant or foul so every time don't attach any adjective my humble submission is that procrastinate in terms of attaching any adjective to any noun noun means a person my friend my brother my sister my cousin my neighbor these are all nouns take extra time delay the matter be a procrastinator in attaching an adjective to a noun by doing so you allow the noun to behave in its natural flow and you accept it and you know that either me or you or anybody is bundle of positive and negatives but if positives are more in a person compared to negative he or she is called as a positive person or vice versa so we need to accept the things as they are as they are judging person means i expect you to be according to my frame created in my mental framework if you fit to that frame you are right person or other than otherwise you are a wrong person but perceiving mind would say i will accept the person as one is and i'll try to find the merit first of all and if demerit actually is overpowering the merit i'll try to rectify it but let me accept a person as one is and let me accept a situation as it is coming so based on mbti pairing those type of persons who are less in this world appreciate those kinds of personality factors and within me both types of personality are there extrovert and introvert but there is a time to move from extrovertness to introvertness sensing to intuitive thinking to feeling and judging to perceiving this is what i think and last thing i would like to say there are so many things to be said and there are uh, uh, sanskrit scriptures are full with wisdom quotations and all these things i am also collecting 108 descriptions of wisdom or wise person but i would like to say in the last bringing one example from karen horney karen horney was a great, great uh, philosopher and she is one of the uh, uh, women philosophers means women philosophers are not many but she is one of the brightest stars uh, among philosophers Karen Horney had said that some persons they suffer with deep rooted early childhood experiences and these three experiences if they are properly addressed adulthood becomes normal otherwise in adulthood or late adulthood or even uh, old age if you carry those kinds of let us say uh, extreme behavior they start impacting your behavior and you become less effective karen horney said there are three orientations which might lead to non normal behavior one is going towards people second going away pe- from people and third is going against people you might have seen in your childhood a typical friend always going towards people always would like to remain with friends every day he would like to meet with you if he misses meeting you one evening will become very very uncomfortable 
So the person is, the child is having this orientation, going towards people. Second type is going away from people. You might have seen in early childhood also, one friend would never join the gathering, will take the food standing at a distance. If you're playing cricket and eight team members are talking here, he'll be just standing there and watching the birds, going away from people. And third is going against people. You might have seen in your childhood, some friends, they do not kick the ball, they kick your knee, <laughs> going against people. And if these three are not properly addressed, actually we carry them for whole life. In this corona period, new time, or whatever the time will come after a few months, we need to address all these. We need not to feel isolated when we are alone. Second, we necessarily need not to search for gathering around us because that is not desirable. And third, we should full with the bhavna of paropakar and hit, hit of everyone and, and prosperity for everyone, rather trying to uh, trying to create certain schemes to actually harm anybody. So going away from people beyond a point becomes ugly. Going towards people, going beyond a point becomes ugly. And going against people, any iota of that is only ugly. So if we address all these kinds of extreme orientations among ourselves, we are established in our wisdom. This is what I wanted to propose. I'm also looking forward for some questions and answers. Many things to be talked. But anyway, uh, you see, you know that um, in uh, 21 days, my God, you've already taken 21 wickets. Only last wicket is playing. Uh, once I'm out, you are you are having more joy of completing your uh, this uh, conference. So um, great, wonderful, and congratulations to you. But I would like to say that many times in the tournament, football, World Cup, final match, may not be the best match. And I know that, uh, that, that the kind of speakers we have presented, and uh, I was also looking at the list, um, there is no need that this session should be the best one, and we are not looking for that. But my humble contribution was that while giving a final touch to your conference, I chose this topic to remind you and myself the word wisdom. And if we appoint a teacher within us, we, need, we, we get a permanent teacher appointed who would guide us on the path of wisdom. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for the lovely session. I am actually not getting words, sir. I think complimenting you is like Surya ko diya dikhana. So I, I really am not able to find words. I can just say, sir, thank you so much for enriching us with your, with, with your knowledge. And you wonderfully explained us the concept of quarantine two interesting examples of uh, Ramayana and the uh, Mahatma Buddha. Apart from that, how to live with awareness, appreciating change, and definitely having that feeling of parupkar and hit for others. I think uh, that the title that you chose, New Time, A Call to Wisdom, is truly, truly justified. And sir, I, I, I really mean the same. I think all of us are going to thank Dr. Achit Upadhyay for inviting you for this validatory session. <laughs> so thank you so very much, sir. Uh, I think now Dr. Nidhi ji, I have saved Ajit ji's love for you, right? So we, we really enjoyed, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would uh, now uh, continue with the question answer round, sir. And uh, we already have a lot of uh, questions. So uh, I'll ask them one by one. So I think the first question is asked by uh, Ms. Savita Sharma. And she's asking, sir, don't you think curiosity enhance learning? So can you hear me? Yes, I can. And uh, Dr. Nidhi ji, um, my scheme would be that I'll give short answers sure. with a selfish motive that I can get more questions. So Definitely. whether curiosity leads to enhances learning. That is the question. Yes, sir. Don't you think curiosity enhances learning? Okay. So short answer. I will try short answer. I, am, I have a very bad habit explaining things longer. Because we are professors, test match we enjoy more than 2020 match. Anyway, my answer is that curiosity means you have declared yourself to be a pot, a pot which is empty, where something can be poured. 
I have curiosity means I have declared myself to be a pot which is empty and which is waiting to be filled. And if curiosity is there, learning would enter the person in the same way as air starts entering into a place of vacuum. Suppose I create vacuum in my room. Vacuum. Airtight vacuum. What is the best way to fill air? To pour a hole that side on the wall and one on this side or two holes if are there. And suddenly air will start pouring in. Similarly, if you have curiosity, learning will start pouring in. So question itself is, uh, uh, is, is, is uh, fertile with answer. I agree with the statement. Thank you. Sir, uh, uh, I, I asked this question uh, because uh, during the presentation, it has been uh, like, uh, it says like uh, on the poster, like this is the right time to learn. I don't think like this is only the right time to learn. Uh, हमारे पास टाइम रहता ही है हम लोग खुद अगर उत्सुकता ना करे टाइम ही टाइम है अगर हमको मतलब जानने की या सीखने की इच्छा है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि खाली कोविड ही एक टाइम है जहां हम अपना लर्निंग स्किल एनहेंस कर सकते हैं या हमको लर्न करने की इच्छा हो सो ठीक है कोविड कोविड ही टाइम नहीं है कोविड भी टाइम है ठीक है आप बिल्कुल सही कह रही हैं सीखने वाले को कहा कमी है दत्तात्रेय ने कहा चौबीस गुरु हमारे हैं पांच तत्व क्षितिजन पावक गगन समीरा मेरे गुरु है एक कुत्ता मेरा गुरु है आठ साल की लड़की मेरी गुरु है सीखने वाले को सुनने की मोहलत मिले तो आवाज है पत्थरों में उजड़ी हुई बस्तियों से आबादियां बोलती हैं जो संवेदनशील हैं कहीं से सीख लेते हैं उनको जिंदा गुरु भी नहीं चाहिए वो तो पत्थर से सीख लेंगे बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर सर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम डॉक्टर ज्योति व्यास वाजपेयी what would you recommend for developing adaptability and resilience hmm <laughs> bahut acha prashn hai very good question because about something we have lifetime confusion and about something we have lifetime clarity so if we get a lifetime clarity it is better you see there is one thing called flexibility flexibility one thing that is called resilience and one word what nidhi ji used in your question uh, resilience re- resilience you used you used one more word adaptability Ad- adaptability you see out of flexibility adaptability and resilience all three words are wonderful words but if you force me to rank which is the most precious word and rank it as 1 to 3 i would go like this for me the word resilience is very very favorable i'll rank it as number 1 resilience and second is adaptability and third is flexibility flexibility is a wonderful word but there is a danger in conceiving it that flexibility also may mean opportunism Yes. If there is light, I will not go for pickpocketing. But if there is darkness, I will become a pickpocket, and I will grab your money. That is also flexibility. Flexibility is a good word, but maybe misunderstood. Resilience basically means, please listen. Resilience, to my understanding, is, and there are many descriptions in, in various dictionaries. Resilience means by maintaining your pivot. by maintaining your centrality by not compromising with your core values you would like to prefer to die compared to gaining something from wrong path flexibility does not give that kind of commitment the word flexibility does not give that kind of commitment resilience gives that kind of commitment that without disturbing your pivot central point without disturbing the center of the circle you will do the required adjustment with periphery that is resilience and i think we should all be a good student of resilience ek urdu ke shayar ne kaha ki jo daira bana wo bikharta chala gaya yani main kuch shape banana chahta tha zindagi mein 
बना नहीं तो कहता है क्योंकि कोई भी व्यक्ति जो विवेकशील होता है लेकिन कर्म ठीक नहीं करता है अंत में पश्चात आपको प्राप्त होता है तो कह रहा है खैर उसका कहना भी हमारे लिए ज्ञान है जो दायरा बना वो बिखरता चला गया मरकज ही कुछ इस तरह का था महवर ही ऐसा था आई वॉन्टेड टू ड्रॉ ए सर्कल बट माई सेंटर वॉज नॉट फिक्स एंड आई एंडेड अप ड्रॉइंग द मैप ऑफ केरला और मैप ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश तो थोड़ा बहुत सर्कल जैसा भी दिखता है केरल तो कहीं से नहीं दिखता है सर्कल यू वॉन्टेड टू ड्रॉ ए सर्कल बट इफ सेंटर इज नॉट फिक्स आई एंडेड अप ड्रॉइंग ए मैप ऑफ केरला वाई बिकॉज माई सेंटर वॉज वैसिलेटिंग and my periphery was also broken and that's why i would like to say we all should be resilient maintain your pivot and doing all the required changes becoming flexible adaptable at peripheral level thank you thank you sir thank you so much sir that was a very beautiful uh, explanation uh, ah. if i could just you know uh, ponder minute uh, sir uh, Uh, there is a difference between loneliness and solitude ekant vas aur akela pan do alag alag cheeze hain so uh, very beautifully you explained that how you can enjoy solitude and not complain about loneliness Absolutely. but there have been uh, instances during this lockdown period and all that you know uh, there have been phone calls by students and all the younger generation ki bilkul akele they are in depression and all and you know so from that point of view i wanted to ask ki, how do you we should be resilient but should we bolne se new what do you say them how to develop their resilience so th- that was actually the intention that i put this question across thank That's you sir. thank you so some sometime the questioner has to be the person who has to give answer means i have a question to you i should and if i ask a question to you as a good guide as a good guide you should start yeah. getting answer from me i always say there are two types of teachers one i say manufacturing mm. style of teacher i start pouring my wisdom in your head manufacturing kind other is excavating kind of teachers we do not produce mm. coal we only excavate coal we produce iron excavating teachers to my understand because time is less so i will jump on conclusion excavating kind of teachers are more means, means better than manufacturing kind of teachers in uh, higher education you see madam when you said that students are depressed they are asking please go back and ask them that write down 10 things you wanted to do that whenever i will get time i would like to dive deeper into my this hobby if not 10 write 5 write 3 write 2 write 1 what you wanted to do because of positive of time you were complaining earlier and if your habit is a perennial complainer you will complain when time was not there you will keep complaining yes time is there so we have to challenge them sometime lovingly we should unsettle the students rather settling them every time and once we unsettle and say that just write down two things you wanted to do whenever you will get time and you have some extra time at least you are at least you are saving now traveling time do that paint sing sing karaoke do painting play carrom board challenge your mummy on 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 some uh, play card games do something what you wanted to do aur mujhe nahi lagta ki koi aisa kahega ki i have no idea what i wanted to do when i would have got more time kyunki hum log is bachcho ko deal karte hain they are intelligent so just remind them ki dekho tum bhool jate ho bhai zara sa 180 degree peet udhar kar lo dekho udhar hai kahin dur jaane ki zarurat nahi hai around you there is solution i think good teachers will try to find solution not a far flung solution but some solution which is just available at arms distance thank you thank you so much sir thank you thank you so much sir uh, so another question is by dr indira sharma i think uh, she would like to ask the question directly because uh, she also want to express her greetings to you so priyatna sir can unmute her yes she is already in <laughs> Uh, सर प्रणाम प्रणाम इंदिरा जी नमस्कार नमस्कार सर इट वाज रियली ग्रेट लिसनिंग टू यू अगेन सर आई हैड मेनी एक्सपीरियंसेस टू लिसन यू बट टुडे अगेन आई एग्री टू योर पॉइंट दैट यस 
quarantine did not come empty handed to us it was like a teacher to us and we being teachers despite we have been learned a lot in past uh, a few months which we could not actually learn out of our busy schedule or out of our you know negligence or whatever we can you know name it but uh, yes we have developed new competencies in this past uh, few months we have uh, uh, enhanced our digital learning and teaching pedagogies we have backed up so many certificates and in fact thanks to ajit sir that 21 plus 122 we have backed up in last 21 days our listening skills is also enhanced so i completely agree to you and uh, thanks that you reminded us all this and we will not say that it is new normal or it's a bad time so so my question to you is uh, out of uh, the session that you have imparted and uh, you said that now we need to accept living with uh, you know awareness and a new change so like uh, we have different types of uh, faculties like uh, full time faculty visiting faculty adjunct faculty will there be a new type of faculty be introduced that is uh, online faculty or maybe you know an, any other name or nomenclature i'm not very clear but will another type of faculty be introduced or not that is my question so out of curiosity i i happen to ask this yeah <clears throat> actually to learn the skills of online faculty i had changed my track in my own career after 9 years of conventional teaching in two universities i went to third university which is called makka of distance education in the country that is called indira gandhi national open university delhi i worked there for one year 10 months then again i started thinking about my old days of face to face interaction and again then i again shifted from that university and went to niti mumbai where professor upender thar also worked for long and then he had come to become director of prestige my point is <coughs> indra ji dr indra ji i don't think there will be in future somebody face to face faculty and online faculty and there is only one strong reason is that online is a device it is upakaran either face to face or online there is role of disseminator there is role of assimilator there is a channel of communication in face to face communication air vibration is the channel between you and me humne kaha hawa ke thakadon se aap tak kaan tak gayi aapke kaan ke parde farfadaye aur sun liye so simple technique but channel was very simple now when you are listening to me and i am listening to you there is some complex technology it is various kinds of things are happening and when i used to i started taking my first lecture on, on that is uh, online in 1997 in igno and that was you that used to be broadcasted through satellite i only think that jisko kehte hain na karta ne karam ko karan se karta to professor hai karam professor ka kar raha hai karan se in online it is only technology coming in between and in offline it is air vibration that is working only for this channel of communication i don't think two types of faculty will emerge faculty will remain faculty aap ko mai ek aur bata do in 1999 when i left igno i was having some uh, uh, typical uh, self uh, complexity superiority complex that how many persons have taken lectures which have been broadcasted through satellite how many can face camera and this my ego bhagwan jisko pyar karta hai uske ahankar ko turant maar deta hai main aapko ek baat aur bata do kyunki aap log antarang vyakti hain kabhi bhi mere dhyan mein ahankar jab aa jata hai ishwar bada dayalu hai aadhe ghatte ke andar mere takhne mein ya mere kohni mein halka sa chot lag jata hai mujhe samajh mein aa jata hai ki bete aukat mein reh so in 1999 i had some complexity that i know many things which other my colleagues do not know but when corona came and suddenly online education came it is highly surprising that how much potential and capability every individual has and almost 99% of faculty in any good institution they have accepted this technology and this way of disseminating knowledge and they have they have become champion on online education system so i think madam uh, indra ji 
that uh, fine, we need to learn how to be more effective on online teaching mode. I may be a good class teacher, but I may not be good here unless I learn those skills. But I don't think the faculty type will change. Somebody will become, become champion of offline, somebody online. That is not going to become that, I think. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, next question is from Dr. Uh, Amit Bodhupadhyay from L LNCT Bhopal. Sadarni sir, Namaskar. Sadar Namaskar, I'm Dr. Amit Bodhupadhyay from Bhopal. Se bol Haan, namaskar. Sir, I'm very small from you. And uh, Nidhi Madam has said that Suri Bhagwan will be able to show you about Deepak. But I'm going to say that you have the cheerfulness, the joy, 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 the इस प्रकार से इसी सकारात्मक के साथ उनको अपने स्टूडेंट्स के साथ क्लास में जाना चाहिए अपने ज्ञान का संचार करना चाहिए और अपने आप को अपडेट रखना चाहिए सर मेरा क्वेश्चन अब यह है आ, वो भी मैं क्वेश्चन ना बोल के चाहूंगा आपके विचार जानने उसके संदर्भ में इट इज इज इट एनी कनेक्शन बिटवीन विजडम एंड इंट्रोवर्टनेस जैसा कहा जाता है कि जो ज्ञानवान है कम बोलता है और अगला पहलू यह है कि एक कहावत है कि थोड़ा चना बाजे घना थोड़ा सा इसको मैं एक्सप्लेनेशन चाहूँ। हम्म देखिए मुझे यही कहना है डॉक्टर साहब पहले तो मैं बता बता दूँ कि करीब दो साल पहले एलएन सिटी भोपाल के ग्राउंड में कंफेडरेशन ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्रीज ने क्रिकेट टूर्नामेंट रखा था और आये इंदौर के टीम से टीम आगे चलते हैं देखिए होता चना बाजे घना बात तो ठीक है लेकिन हम घना बज सके प्रोफेसर है भाई जब आपको बजना हो तो ठीक से बजिए इसके लिए आपको यू हैव टू पास थ्रू थ्री स्टेजेस अध्ययन मनन निदिध्यासन अध्ययन मींस मेनी थिंग्स गोइंग टू लाइब्रेरी रीडिंग बुक इज अध्ययन Talking to the right person is Adhyayan. Watching certain uh, old monuments, if I'm a student of history, is Adhyayan. Manan is pondering over, thinking, churning, insight. And third is Nididhyasana, establishing the real quintessence and weeding out the shof. Taking the grain inside, weeding out the shof. Anna ko rakh lena, bhuse ko alak kar dena. Saar saar ko gahi rahe, होता दे उड़ाए इसीलिए घना बज सके ये हर विधा में है आइदर यू आर अ प्रोफेसर और यू आर अ डांसर और यू आर अ पेंटर और यू आर अ सिंगर और यू आर अ फिलोसोफर और यू आर अ साइंटिस्ट अनलेस देयर इज एन इंट्रोवर्ट डायमेंशन इन योर पर्सनालिटी यू कैन नॉट रिफ्लेक्ट शाइनिंग व्हेन यू आर एक्चुअली इन द एक्सट्रोवर्ट वर्ल्ड इसको मैं ऐसा ही कहूंगा कि unless a tree has sent its root a little deeper, it cannot allow successfully its trunk to go upper. मैं एक पेड़ हूँ, हमने जड़ को कहा नीचे मत जा, क्यों नीचे जाएगा? सब चीज़ ऊपर ही जा, सब चीज़ ऊपर गया और 30 किलोमीटर की हवा आई हमें उड़ा के ले गई। That's why to conclude this answer, I will say a balance at, at least for professors, I would like to say. A balanced professor is one who on extrovert introvert dimension is 60% introvert and 40% extrovert. 40% extrovertness is enough, enough for you. But 60% introvertness actually will make you more profound. Aapke showcase se aapka go down jada mazboot hona chahiye. आपके ड्राइंग रूम से आपके लिविंग रूम ज्यादा अच्छी होनी चाहिए वहां आत्मा बसनी चाहिए खाली ड्राइंग रूम सजा लिया लिविंग रूम में लड़ रहे हैं खाली सभा में जाके दो चार कुछ बोल दिया इधर-उधर का सुन करके अंदर कुछ दम है नहीं शोकेस में कुछ सामान रख दिया गो डाउन में सामान है नहीं दैट्स व्हाई 60% इंट्रोवर्ट 40% एक्सट्रोवर्ट आई थिंक इट मे बी डिबेटेबल बट दिस इज द राइट बैलेंस ऑफ ए प्रोफेसोरियल कैरियर बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सर इसी रूप से 
पूरी तरह संतुष्ट और आपके आशीर्वाद में चाहूंगा एल के समूह पर भी जब आप अवेलेबल होंगे तो मैं अजित भाई के साथ आपको बुलाना चाहूंगा अपने स्टूडेंट को मोटिवेट करने के लिए थैंक यू एल एन सिटी इंदौर से तो मेरा कम से कम परिचय लगातार बना रहा वहाँ चौक से साहब हैं जो प्रमोटर हैं और फिर एक प्रोफेसर सैनी बहुत दिन तक थे वहाँ अब तो बूढ़े हो गए शायद छोड़ दिया वो प्रेम बस बुला लिया करते थे एल सिटी इंदौर और एक बार मैं गया था एल सिटी भोपाल एक लेक्चर के लिए और एक बार आपके मैदान का यूज किया गया था सी द्वारा क्रिकेट के लिए तो मैं वहाँ खेलने गया था सर अब आप आमंत्रित हमारा ऑडिटोरियम में जिसकी स्ट्रेंथ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड है हम उसमें आपको सुनना चाहेंगे प्रोग्राम तय करेंगे सर जी बहुत शुभकामनाएं थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर सर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम दीपा छाबड़ा हेलो सर जी सर आई एम एन एल्यूमिनाय ऑफ प्रेस्टीज इंस्टीट्यूट ओनली एंड सीरियसली आपको सुन के बहुत अच्छा लगा मतलब ये लास्ट डे अजीत सर ने आपने जैसे कहा कि बहुत ही सही निर्णय था उनका आपको बुलाना मतलब इतना अच्छा आ, कहते हैं ना कि सिर्फ शुरुआत अच्छी नहीं होनी चाहिए किसी चीज का जो अंत है वो बहुत ही सुंदर होना चाहिए तो सीरियसली आज बहुत ही सुंदर था और एक चीज जो आपको सुन के मुझे लगा कि मैं कहूँ बेहिसाब हसरते न पालिए जो मिला है उसे संभालिए शायद ये सार मुझे जो समझ में आया नाउ मूविंग बैक टू माय क्वेश्चन सर इधर वैसे तो मैं आपके सामने कोई क्वेश्चन पूछूं ये मेरा सौभाग्य है uh, मुझे ऐसा लगा आपने जो बोला कि यू नो दैट दिस इज द सेकंड विजडम विच इज यू नो म्यूट योर सेल्फ्स सो लिसन मोर एंड म्यूट योर सेल्फ तो गांधी जी के जो तीन बंदर हम बात करते थे कि सी नो ईविल हियर नो ईविल स्पीक नो ईविल तो टोटल हमारे पास ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म में आज तीन मोटिव हैं सर एक तो होता है कि म्यूट ऑडियो म्यूट वीडियो और हमारा तीसरा होता है कि मतलब तीन है जिसमें हम न बुरा कहिए न बुरा सुनिए और न देखिए तो बाकी दो जो हैं उस पर आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे अपार्ट फ्रॉम जस्ट म्यूट योर सेल्स एंड लिसन के अलावा जो दो हैं जिसमें बुरा मत देखिए और बुरा मत सुनिए है उसमें प्लीज आपका मैं सुनना चाहूंगी कुछ थैंक यू सर देखिए दीपा जी वी आर ऑलवेज बम्बार्डेड बाय एक्सटर्नल मोमेंटम उसको गौतम बुद्ध के लिटरेचर में पाली में या संस्कृत में या हिंदी में भी संघात कहा गया है every time we are bombarded by outside particles and in that condition we lose the inner balance now you have quoted let us say three monkeys which are basically indicators that there are five sense organs i should see shubh auspicious if i keep on watching only in auspicious i am taking the food of inauspiciousness you are not taking food only through mouth you are taking food through all five sense organs one day when i went during lunch break to my home to eat i found my wife enjoying tv and then she offered me food i said how are you yeah, because she was on the day of fasting tejia to pratha so maine kaha aap fasting par hain और यहां फास्टिंग पर हूं हमने कहा आप टीवी देख रही थी हाँ फास्टिंग पर हूं हमने कहा टीवी देख रही थी फिर कहा फास्टिंग पर थी आंखों से भोजन कर रही थी सास बहु के झगड़े देख रही थी कानों से कुछ सुन रही थी ये फास्टिंग ऐसे नहीं होता है हालांकि मैं थोड़ा लिमिट में रहा क्योंकि को, कोई भी गड़बड़ हो जाती है बात और तो के साथ पंगा नहीं लेने का वो मैं जानता हूं तो क्या हुआ लेटमी से दैट आउट ऑफ ऑल फाइव सेंस ऑर्गन थ्रू आईज वी टेक फूड थ्रू इयर्स वी टेक फूड to nose we take food to tongue we take food to touch kinesthetic skin we take food and when bhagavad gita says in lord krishna says behave like a tortoise tortoise take six limbs six parts of the body inside four legs one neck and mouth and one is tail these six these six are nothing but indicators of five sense organs and six is man mind if these six become introvert we sometime we nurture it introvertly then as i said we become more effective when we need to be extrovert 
एक प्रोफेसर को शानदार एक्सट्रोवर्ट होना चाहिए बट वाई वाई आई एम प्रपोजिंग सिक्सटी फोर्टी फॉर्मूला बिकॉज योर फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ एक्सट्रोवर्टनेस इज एनफ टू विन द वर्ल्ड बट फर्स्ट बी सिक्सटी परसेंट इंट्रोवर्ट की मोर थिंग्स इन गो डाउन बी मोर क्वालिटेटिव वेन योर लेक्चर इज एंडिंग देर शुड बी मेनी मोर थिंग्स विच रिमेन अनएक्सप्लेन नॉट दैट माई लास्ट सेंटेंस आई स्पोक इन माई क्लास एंड देन आई गॉट एग्जॉस्टेड दैट शुड नॉट बी that's why i say always there are two types of personality glorious part and glamorous part we all should nurture our glamorous part lekin glamorous part ki shobha tab hai jab glorious part mein saman hai that is glorious part thank you thank you sir so next question is by uh, mr jitendra sharma uh yes. good afternoon sir are you able to listen to me i can listen to you you are in indore or bangalore uh, sir right now i am not in indore uh, sir mai aapko sunne ka lagbhag 16 17 bar aapko sun chuka hu ye mera saubhagya shayad sabhi mein se aur <laughs> sir main jnai bhi main aapse pad bhi chuka hu jab aap niti se aaye the us samay kuch samay ke liye ji 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 sir mera sawal ye hai ki abhi hum jahan bhi dekhe sari nirashavadi khabre hi hame milti hain aur shayad hi koi aasha hai तो ऐसे टाइम में सर कैसे उम्मीद का दिया जलाया जाए और कैसे क्रिटिकल सिचुएशन से आगे बढ़ाया जाए आपने जो इनपुट दिए वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट फिर भी हम अपने आसपास देखते हैं कई लोग के स्पेशली लोअर क्लास के जॉब नहीं है वो सब चीजें ऐसे में हम कैसे उम्मीद का दिया जला सकते हैं इस बारे में सर आपसे कुछ जानना चाह रहा हूँ जी देखिए टूडे ओनली न्यू एडुकेशन पॉलिसी that those who are at the marginal edge and does not have means does not have means to eat does not have means to live wo wo kya kare to dekhiye it is time to understand what i am capable of doing one or two things dekhiye uttar aapko swing se lana hai as i was suggesting against one question that how to make people happy one madam asked how, how students are saying i am depressed but the students have means sweet but your question has gone to more let us say existential uh, dimension of the life that those who do not have means to live what they can do now here two things come one is we should remind them or there has to be conscientization approach to help them to understand what one or two things they can do because changing the gear is needed i have been doing one thing that job is not available the question is what else i am capable of doing that needs to be done and second thing is that either at economic level or at psychological level we need to be more empathetic those who are more resourceful need to be more empathetic jisko udarta bhi aap keh sakte hain employer need to be more empathetic director need to be more empathetic faculty may commit a mistake because i am learning online training or research something like that so administrator need to be more empathetic though those who are have nots need to be more empathetic and we need to create for example in in uh, um, mdi what we did in three series of seminar which continued only for 10 days in that three series three series were there of single focused uh, topic seminar in first uh, conference in first series there was discussion from the grassroots level of workers at second level it was from local bodies and at third level it was from those who can strategically help to develop the gurgaon city so in these three we, we could come out with ideas that how these haves can reach to have nots and how we can give voice to those who don't have voice how we can reach with means to those who don't have means to karna bahut kuch hai thank you very much but it is a difficult question answer is not so difficult but at two levels we have to remind individual should know capability and have not should empathetically reach towards uh, sorry those, those who are haves should reach to have nots thank you sir i got the answer that is empathy is the password thank you so much sir thank you thank you sir Sir, if you permit, there are three four more questions. I don't have, have problems. <laughs> okay, great, sir. The so next question is by Dr. Sopna Maya Chare, ma'am. Sir, pranam. Pranam, pranam. 
uh, sir actually i uh, have the opportunity to listen once once more uh, sir uh, uh, i was belong to odisha and uh, there the jagannath uh, the lord jagannath uh, went for 30 days uh, on a sir that is one type of isolation so uh, after this quarantine uh, i got to know that this is uh, also that the lord jagannath also went for quarantine for this 30 days before this rath yatra so uh, i just i i wanted to uh, uh, learn more about this but uh, but i could not get this so can you just uh, give your comments or views in that <laughs> okay You see, um, I would like to show one thread on my uh, wrist. This, this is a black thread, and there, there is a, another one is a, a pink thread. This black thread, four years back in Jagannath Mandir, somebody tied me, and I, when I take bath, I rub it mercilessly every day. But still, it is there, Lord Jagannath <laughs> here, and this, this, uh, of course, uh, this. Uh, pink thread is uh, rakhi of my cousin sister and this also i rub every day mercilessly while taking bath but the thread is there and after few days i will have new rakhi anyway lord jagannath the rath yatra is on asar shukl paksh dvitiya and from asar pratipada lord jagannath goes into quarantine and during those days only those 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 uh, uh, pandit who can enter the sanctum sanctorum are very limited and in general the bhakta will not have darshan and in general people do not visit puri during that one forty fortnight the reason being it is said that lord jagannath actually has is running high fever and he is taking rest when i went deeper into this dimension i found that in order to maintain of course the physical dimension of the temples and the mood of jagannath because he wants to be diving into introvert world because he has to go for 9 or 10 days to mosi ghar he will come out of his home he has to play extra word so i will just summarize it in two sentences swapna mai ji that you see yes sir what i was proposing we are getting indication through the act of lord jagannath himself because he has to be highly extra word for next 9 days he is becoming introvert for 15 days <laughs> and what may be the ratio of 15 to 9 is almost the ratio of 60 to 40 that i said 60 at introvertness and 40 extrovertness thank you but it was interesting question <laughs> yes lord jagannath also goes to quarantine <laughs> okay thank you thank you sir thank you so much sir thank Aray, you bhai suniye you see uh, you see i will say one thing one thing i i would like to tell you wherever you see festivity please allow me to say, speak two or three sentences wherever there is festivity jahan bhi utsav hai just stop for a minute meditate and you will find there is finance behind it iske piche tap hai iske piche ek introvertness hai aap festivity dekhte hain barat hai nach rahe hain log barat mein ab us ladke ko us ladki ke jeevan ko banane mein mata pita kitna mehnat ki hai barso ka mehnat aur aaj nach chal raha hai holi ka dahan holi hai holi hai prahlad ko kitna sataya gaya kitna tap kiya ek vishnu bhakt vajara apne pita se pratarit hai फिनेंस है वहां नवरात्रि में डांडिया खेल रहे हैं नाच रहे हैं नए कपड़े पहन रहे हैं मस्ती चल रही है ड्राइव कर रहे हैं उसके पीछे तप है इतने इतने दानवों को मारते हुए देवी जो हैं, रक्त बीज है कई पापी है महिषासुर है सबको मारते हुए आगे बढ़ रही है शुंभ निशुंभ है कितना मेहनत कर रही है माता लड़ रही है और अगर आप जरा सा देखें कि माता का जो श्लोक है जिसको आप कहते हैं महिषासुर मर्दनी वहां पर जंगल की छोटी छोटी लकड़ी लड़कियां भी उनको मदद कर रही हैं दानवों को मारने में एक फॉर्मूला जान लीजिएगा जहां भी उत्सव है उसके पीछे तप है कॉन्वोकेशन में प्रेस्टीज में बच्चे जो है कॉन्वोकेशन के दिन 
अपनी टोपी वोपिया जो भी है उछाल देते होंगे ये वाव जो है ना ये वाव के पीछे बहुत तप होता है आप वर्ल्ड कप के फाइनल में क्रिकेट में फुटबॉल में देखिए जीता दिस वाव के पीछे कितनी मेहनत है पूरी पांच साल चार साल की मेहनत है ओलंपिक में तप के पीछे क्षमा करिएगा उत्सव के पीछे तप है इसलिए अगर उत्सव मनाना हो तो तप की जेन्यूनिटी को संभालें देखें में जरूर जाए थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर Sir, another question is by Dr. Deepthi Bajpayee. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I don't know, sir, whether it is a coincidence or destiny, but I seem to take both the subjects you elaborated on, communication and personality, uh, and therefore it was a very enriching experience for me. And I do plan to pass it to the students. My oh. question is related to the students. Uh, when we administer I, I, the, I, am, I hope I hope I did not say anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, absolutely not. I didn't know that extreme. expert of personality is there. I dare talk on personality. <laughs> sir, I I would uh, submit okay. humbly that I don't think anyone in uh, anybody would be an expert on personality. It is way too complex. However, sir, when MBTI is administered to students, uh, probably they are taking it for the first time. Many of them are extremely flabbergasted with the results. uh most of them uh, uh, cannot come to terms with the results so as teachers how can we make them come to terms with who they really are probably this is a revelation for them so how do we do that sir <clears throat> they come to surprise only because they have a self perception about themselves that i am right. like that right sir and what happens generally we paint a more Inflated picture about us. Okay. So, बिहार के गांव का हूं वहां एक कहावत है कि हर आदमी यही सोचता है कि जिंदगी में अढ़ाई किलो बुद्धि है उसमें दो किलो मेरे पास है आधा किलो में सबको बांट दिया गया है पॉइंट यू एडमिनिस्ट्रेड mbti on me i am your student and you give me the interpretation i say ma'am no 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 i am not like that i am not like exactly, that exactly exactly <laughs> you see because i have a self perception and i have been found on wrong footing you see <laughs> mbti only talks about four pairing of personality and right, to find out four pair of personality if the respondent of the world would have been very very honest only four questions were required true but we tend to paint a positive picture towards us so in order to measure four variables sometimes we have 94 questions see yeah. in case of in in in, in case of uh, pyro b also there are only 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 six variables but right. six nine ja 54 items are there <laughs> why there are multiple item multiple questions to measure the same item because it is to capture the tendency of painting inflated behavior uh, of what i think i where i'm right and to show a deflated picture which i where i think i should not reveal my negative side that's why you can tell students that dear this is not a simply questionnaire it is right, tested sir. instrument and there are 16 different types of combination of mbti which are coming you see none of the combinations is bad but there are certain orientations uh, specific to certain kind of 16 orientations that's why you may say that actually questionnaire or instrument is able to bring out whatever is hidden in your subconscious and what you think about yourself may not be correct mirror <laughs> sometimes may not be correct also you need to to be shown a mirror of by others to you that's why you can convince students like that right sir yes sir thank you so much sir that's very helpful absolutely thank you thank sir you. thank you sir so another question is by dr raksha thakur <laughs> dr raksha thakur aiye a uh, good evening sir good evening. Uh, sir yes sir. Uh, sir getting to uh, getting the opportunity to listen to you is always like a blessing uh, i want to know from you sir that uh, what should be the contribution of teachers and students 
for uh, a better post pandemic world uh, hello yes. am i audible yes yes I, uh, you are audible yes it, it, it is a very profound question because what can be you see i would like to say that if you ask me are you satisfied with your functions as a teacher uh, with three decades of experience i would like to say on one to 10 scale i would self rate on at least eight on satisfaction that i have done justice to the functions given to me but the moment you ask a question to me that whether i have played my role well then i will start fumbling and perhaps shivering also because functions means teachers functions management teachers function teaching training research consulting if you have done academic administration added to it some contribution to institution building and you are a teacher with laurel in your institute but moment question comes that you ask is role role goes beyond function you see in are you working in prestige institute yes sir okay so prestige institute is closer to bombay hospital of indore and any person walking on road 6 kilometers away from you on the highway which is connecting that bypass devas to rao any person walking on the road with any background has right to ask to you if you give you your self introduction that i am professor at prestige institute of management the person may say ah i have heard about that institute a good institute and i know that management is a big science or art uh, but tell me that how your functions your acts is of any benefit to me i am an ordinary man ordinary person walking on the road unless prestige institutes professors work influences the life of somebody unknown walking on the highway there 8 kilometers away or 80 kilometers away then if i ask you this question you will start fumbling that no no i have not any played any role to bring a smile to that unknown person that's why i would like to say simply one thing ma'am that teachers first of all themselves need to come out of the ghetto of four wall that i am my job is to teach my job is to train my job is to publish two papers my job is to publish uh, to, 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 to to do some uh, industry project and uh, some academic administration that's fine this is minimum to be done but role can be only accomplished if we become a real teacher we have to come out of our shell of assistant professor associate professor full professor these designations are much lesser in height compared to the designation of teacher and if we are 24 hours teacher if we are teachers for all if we think that our role can expand to anywhere in one workshop it was asked to me who is a spiritual manager then my humble answer was that a spiritual manager is one who spreads his or her responsibilities beyond the job description given to him then only so i think madam it is a very right question difficult to practice but we all should prepare ourselves first of all and then only i think we can reflect on students isliye main bar bar kehta hu ke there are three types of teachers one type they should not be who do not cover syllabus second type is okay acceptable who cover syllabus but we should be able to uncover syllabus don't only cover syllabus uncover syllabus ताकि 20 25 सेशन जब आप कहते हैं कि कोर्स खत्म हुआ तब विद्यार्थी को लगे कि अरे मैडम कोर्स खत्म हो गया अभी तो लग रहा था और शुरू होना बाकी था यू शुड अनकवर द सिलेबस तब शायद हम कुछ तैयारी कर सके बहुत बड़ा क्वेश्चन था आपका मेरे उत्तर उतने ऊंचे नहीं पूछ सके लेकिन कोशिश करिए हम लोग अपने को और लोगों के लिए काम और लोगों के कल्याण के लिए हम लोग अपने आप को विस्तारित कर सके खाली अपनी नौकरी ना करें दैट इज ओनली वे टू थिंक आई थिंक ओके थैंक यू thank you sir so one last question sir by uh, mr tanmay sharma okay uh, tanmay sharma i think uh, priyapna sir is available unmuted him 
I guess uh, there is some audio problem at his end because he's trying, but I guess he could not connect. Yes, so shall I move to the feedback session now? Yeah, but, but there's one question from Dr. Rajesh Chandra. If we can entertain him. I missed it, sir. I can't see you. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just. Uh, okay, please unmute him. Uh, Rajesh, sir, please ask question, sir. One second, sir. Yeah. Pratna, I also want to ask the question, but because I'm a panelist, it's not allowing me to do so. Ma'am, you can ask the question now. <laughs> There's no issue in that. Okay. Um... सर uh, मेरा भी एक सवाल था वो छोटा सा सवाल है जो मेरे को बहुत uh, सालों से परेशान कर रहा है कि uh, जितने भी uh, लोग ओ बी एच आर और ह्यूमन बिहेवियर को स्टडी करते हैं और इतने सारे लंबे चौड़े स्केल बनते हैं और इतने सारे उसमें वेरिएबल्स होते हैं और अलग अलग टाइम से ये लोग मेजर करते हैं और uh, मेरा एक uh, प्रश्न था आपसे कि डोंट यू थिंक दैट द ह्यूमन बींग इज सो कॉम्प्लेक्स and his ability to transform is uh, so phenomenal that to measure a person is actually maybe to attempt to measure him at a particular point of time and it has nothing to do with what that person may be uh, maybe even 24 hours later his ability to uh, change to transform to learn to hope to pray to um, evolve is so um, high that uh, many times i feel that you know these fixed skills fixed variables fixed prototyping they are not uh, they don't seem they uh, seem very ro robotic you know, whereas human being is not so i am coming with my humble response to madam's uh, uh, statement you see in psychology or behavioral science any measurement done on attributes you see we know it very well glass its height is variable but its uh, aesthetic value ye sundar hai ki nahi shape theek hai ki nahi proportionality of its cylindrical peripherality and height is adequate or not this is not variable this is attribute एट्रीब्यूट गुण को कहते हैं और वेरिएबल इसके पदार्थ को कहेंगे मान लीजिए हाइट वेट माई हाइट माई वेट माई माई लेट से पैथोलॉजिकल रिपोर्ट दीज ऑल आर बेसिकली वेरिएबल्स बट सडनली यू राइज यू गेट अप इन अ पर्टिकुलर मॉर्निंग एंड अदरवाइज पैथोलॉजिकली यू आर वेरी वेरी बैलेंस्ड पर्सन बट सडनली यू फील फील सैड सब this is basically attribute not variable my humble <laughs> response is that social science ne kisi ko choda nahi aapki height weight ko hi nahi maapa not only they tried they measured your variables they started measuring your attributes also your spirituality orientation even extrovertness introvertness is no nowhere visible in this world but is being measured my answer is like this madam Say, take example of MBTI again. On MBTI, if on extrovert, introvert, if your score on extrovert is nine and introvert is eight, you are extrovert. Suppose total possible scores on extrovert plus introvert is eighteen, and in, uh, extrovert is extrovert is ten, introvert is eight. You are basically extrovert. but even if your extrovert score is 17 and introvert is 1 is still you are extrovert but these two extrovert who has a score of 10 and 8 vis a vis who has a score of 17 and 1 both are extrovert but both are not the same person one is extrovert by simply scoring one run more over introvert and one who is fully or only extrovert and only one point has gone towards introvert so anyway let us summarize what i'm trying to say measurement of human attributes is an humble trial to capture in objective frame which is basically subjective <laughs> human being objective hai nahi wo subject <laughs> and that is the dignity of human being that is the dignity of human being that is subjective 
but still social science, believing in statistics, quantitative approach has done an humble attempt to measure that in quantitative frame. Yehi durghatna ghat gai hai ki objective is measuring the subjective. But anyway, yeh jo prayas hai, yeh prayas hai, yeh ye, ye bada pyaara sa prayas hai. It is indicator. Isko aap aisa hi kahiye, if I say to my cousin taking in the lab, ki bete dekho chand wahan hai, to chand to 4 lakh kilometer dur hai. Ungli par chand nahi hai. Vaisa hi hai, it is indicator. <laughs> thank you so much sir. a very nice answer thank you ma'am thank you sir for the wonderful answer uh, 